As Glasgow welcomed the UN Global Climate Conference COP26, our college's inspirational approach was highlighted at around 100 events held at our award-winning Twin Site campus. We will have to do it together. Riverside Campus was host to the International Maritime Hub in partnership with Maritime UK and officially opened by Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon. It was a global showcase for green technology, innovation and capabilities from across the UK maritime sector. The next 20 years is very much going to be based on engineering, science, technology and Scotland's got the best universities in the world being here in this, in this campus here at Glasgow College on the banks of the river. We're almost back full circle where the first industrial revolution started here and now we're talking about a green industrial revolution. So I've got great faith and optimism that the, the graduate community, the student community in buildings like this and colleges like this will be a big part of solving the problem in the future. I think the opportunities and new skill sets that you develop in this college are beyond par. So please do come and study here, come to the city of Glasgow and you will have the best opportunities in life going forward. We were honoured to welcome the International Maritime Organisation, the International Chamber of Shipping and ministerial representatives from both the UK and Scottish governments, the Belgian Prime Minister and Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. This is an important meeting because it does provide evidence that there are things you can do and are doing and do even more in the future that will make a real difference. You know, this world will be at some point not anymore our world, it will be your world. And the innovation that we need to make this a sustainable world, this innovation, it's probably already in your hands, in your brains. It's just waiting to come out. At City Campus, we hosted an educational and skills symposium with University College London and we partnered with Climate Fresk to provide free workshops to raise awareness and understanding of the impact of climate change. We have also reduced our carbon emissions by 33% in the last five years and committed to a range of green initiatives including becoming net zero by 2040. And we have signed the Sustainable Development Goals Accord embedding SDGs into education, research leadership, operations, administration and engagement activities. Invested in a 100% electric vehicle fleet, ensuring a reduction of 4.01 tonnes of carbon dioxide in vehicle emissions per year. Gained cycling friendly campus status and introduced electric bikes for staff to travel between our twin site campus. Invested in an industrial composter, diverting 100% food waste from anaerobic digestion by composting directly on site. No longer sell single-use plastic bottles in our catering outlets and vending machines. And we are leading Glasgow City Region in developing a skills base to support the home energy retrofit across housing stock in the area. Introducing an annual travel pass scheme for public transport and are working with Glasgow Learning Quarter and local communities to reduce reliance on fossil fuels. Operating a blended learning and hybrid working model, reducing the environmental impact of up to 30,000 students and 1,400 staff travelling in and out of Glasgow. COP26 provided many of our students with a fantastic opportunity to put their learning into practice, from preparing and serving VIP dinners to photographing giant puppets, interviewing a United Nations leader and Scottish Government Minister to collaborating with a national news organisation that has taken work experience to a whole new level. In a world that changes so fast, everyone will one way or another continue training. So, I, you are here at school, but you probably will be coming back to this school very often. City of Glasgow College is a global player in maritime training, and indeed it is the Harvard of maritime colleges.